Welcome back to Discovery On Demand. My name is Tali and I develop programming here at Discovery Place Science. Although dogs and humans don't speak the same language, our expert friends at Canine Behavior Solutions can help us better understand them and teach us how to train them to complete new and different tasks. So positive reinforcement training it is um, it's when you use a positive reinforcement to teach something to someone. We instruct the dog, we show them what we want them to do, and then when they get it right, we say, yay, good job, and you know, might give them a treat, or we might throw a ball or play tug. Whatever reinforces that dog is what we want to give that dog so it, it makes a positive feeling about what they just did, and it works, then it's gonna that behavior is gonna happen again in the future. So classical conditioning, think about um, association. That's all classical conditioning is. It's, it, for example, if you pick up your leash and your dog starts wagging their tail and getting excited because you're going for a walk, you've classically conditioned that leash. Operant conditioning is different because the dog actually has to do something, or I, I should say the learner, because it can be a person, a dog, a bird, a horse. The learner has to actually do something. We call it, it has to operate on its environment. So one really important thing to know is that is body language is a dog's language. They're talking to us all the time. We just don't realize it. But the things that I would watch most would be, probably the top two would be the ears and the tail. The ears can be kind of soft and easy and, and you know just kind of loose, meaning a happy, relaxed dog. Or they can be straight up and alert. They can be pinned back to their head, which is really, they're really, really fearful. One myth about the tail is that a wagging tail always means a happy dog. And that's honestly not true. But look at the tail. Is it, is it up and alert? That's not the same thing as a dog that just has it kind of loose and it's kind of wagging all over the place, basically. When I think about the tail, I think about the base of the tail where it meets the body, not necessarily the tip. And you can see whether it curves under or curves up or just is kind of loose. All those things I look for in the tail. Thanks for tuning in. Got more questions? Come visit our current traveling exhibit, Dogs, A Science Tale, open from now through May 5th.